One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. And he also was the... Oh, oops, sorry. Ah, uh, this is so weird. This is an EXE type, so it's just a game application thing. It immediately starts right to the point. Uh, arrow keys. The littlest penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. He was much more interested in going on adventures and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. So yeah, I played the other littlest penguin game. So I wonder if there's like some difference in this. Oh, it's quick. Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick penguin lying next on a large stone. Won't you please help me? cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. How about no? Something began to stir inside the littlest penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him, thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven, cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, he thought to himself, I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. The littlest penguin came upon a small group of his penguins. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club. And the first one went quickly, far easier than the littlest penguin would have thought. This spooked the others. But in his opponent, the littlest penguin found the more they were. Satisfaction finally beat them down, and beat them down he did, until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain. As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the littlest penguin felt the eyes upon him. The other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the littlest penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the littlest penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. And perhaps, a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. This 
the littlest penguin, he could now return to the other penguins and make good on his plans, the thought of which triggered an excitement he could hardly contain. Slash at them and again they would cry out. Some attempted to vainly cram their entrails back inside. Others simply fell apart where they stood. The lifless penguin was thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. The screams, the panic, the rapture that pulsed inside of him. He could no sooner explain the magic behind his emotion any more than he could bring himself to stop. Not until every last penguin had been split apart. When the last of them had finally stopped twitching, and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. It's not fair. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. One day, a group...